for the majority of DLs. Acquiring adult diapers for the first time can seem like a difficult and daunting task. This is intended for DLs that still live under their parents' roof, and most do not have credit cards or P.O. boxes, making it nearly impossible to take advantage of the discretion and convenience offered by online ordering, without being noticed by parents or other family members. Without online ordering, the only legitimate way to acquire diapers is to buy them at the nearest store. While going to the local pharmacy or supermarket to purchase diapers may seem scary at first, your fears are usually exaggerated. Buying diapers is nothing to be afraid or ashamed of. Here are some methods I would not recommend for acquiring diapers. Stealing them from people who need them. For example babies and incontinent adults. Faking bedwetting or incontinence. Shoplifting, but this applies to obtaining anything. In general, any method that involves lying, cheating, stealing, or anything illegal. To begin your diaper crusade, you need five things. A nearby store that sells diapers, for example Walmart or Target. A method of transportation, for example your feet, a bicycle, public transit, or a car if you can drive. Money to purchase diapers. Know how much they cost beforehand. Time away from your parents and family members. A large bag, preferably a backpack, which will discreetly hold your diapers. To be as discreet as possible, use a bag that not only hides what you bought, but also hides the fact that you bought anything at all. The first step in obtaining diapers involves devising a plan that takes account of all relevant personal circumstances. When making a plan, Ask yourself questions, such as, how long will I be home alone? Where is the nearest store? What kind of diapers do I want to buy? How will I get to and from the store? Do I have enough money? And how will I hide my diapers? If you have a good answer for all of these questions, go ahead and purchase your diapers. Otherwise, rethink and rework your plan so that it makes more sense. Ideally, you should go through a dry run of your plan. A dry run is where you go through all of the steps in your plan, except the actually buying the diapers. Dry runs can be helpful in building the confidence required to purchase diapers for real, and in identifying weak points in your plan. Try buying something that would be slightly embarrassing to be caught with, but which wouldn't raise any real questions. The second step, which for many is the hardest, happens before you get anywhere near purchasing your first pack of diapers, dealing with your emotions and overcoming your fears. The day that I bought my first packs of adult diapers, I was scared beyond belief, and almost backed out, but the thought of actually getting to try proper diapers, rather than the makeshift ones that I really wanted used, motivated me to follow through with my plan. The reward was, in my opinion, definitely worth the risks. The chances of you seeing people you know at the store are fairly minimal. The other customers at the store, whom you do not know are not likely to ever see you again, and if they do, they will not remember you. The important thing to remember is that people who do not know you do not care what you are buying. The average person does not really pay attention to their fellow shoppers, and even if they do, the most that they are ever likely to do upon witnessing an odd purchase is raise an eyebrow for a few seconds before promptly forgetting about it. Strangers are not going to interrogate you about purchases that are not age-limited. Doing so is pretty strange behavior itself. Store employees are trained to be friendly, helpful, and do not ask you about the products you purchase. You are a customer, not a suspect. What you are buying and why you are buying it, is none of their business. However, in the unlikely event that someone does ask you, have a good excuse ready. Before you purchase diapers, make sure that you have come to terms with your infantilism, and accepted yourself as a DL. Once you accept that liking adult diapers is okay, then you will have a much easier time accepting that buying diapers is okay. Fear, anxiety, and self-loathing are the biggest obstacles in the DL's path to acceptance of self. Remember that adult diapers are just another type of underwear. Confidence is key when doing virtually anything. 
Nothing is more likely to attract attention than nervousness and hesitance. Be bold, almost shameless. Your demeanor should say, yes, I'm buying diapers. So what? The third step is to research the products you plan to buy, either by calling the store, or better still, going to the store's website. Make sure to find out how much the products you plan to buy cost, sizing information, and the brands at the store usually stocks. Remember to factor in sales tax and the cost if it applies to where you live. The fourth step is to find a way to get to the store. If the store is only a few blocks away, walking should be fine. But if your nearest store is more than a mile from your house, biking or driving may be more suitable. For many DLs, this may be the first time they travel several miles from home without parental knowledge or approval. The distance to your nearest store must be factored into your plan, so that enough time can be allotted to get to and from the store. Using a backpack is a good idea for those walking, taking the bus, or driving to and from the store, and is a must for those who are cycling. It is worth noting that you should not use public transport for this expedition, unless you are used to doing so unaccompanied. It adds a whole new level of stress to what will already be a stressful experience. Now you are ready to get to the store. Remember, speed and confidence are key. The faster that you can get in and out of the store, the less chance you have of being caught buying diapers by people you know. The more confident you are in yourself, the less chance that anyone will notice you behaving suspiciously. Upon arrival at the store, carefully scout the aisles of the store to make sure that no one you know is there. Be casual. Peeking your head around aisles and darting around the place like a commando is just going to attract attention. If you do see people whom you know, go to another store that sells diapers if there is another one nearby, or wait for the people to leave, but do not appear as though you are loitering. If you are sure that nobody you know is in the store, proceed with purchasing your adult diapers. Go to the aisle marked diapers if you are looking for baby diapers, good nights, or under jams. Go to the aisle marked incontinence if you are looking for adult sized diapers. When you get to the aisle, grab the diaper package of your choice, then head to the register to purchase them. Many stores have self-checkouts nowadays, though using them can be both a blessing and a curse. The benefits of self-checkouts include speed, limited interaction with other people, and discreetness. However, if you have issues with the self-checkout terminal that is issues with scanning, which is a fairly common occurrence, then one or more employees are called to assist you, thus attracting unneeded attention. Therefore, using the regular cashier is often a smarter idea. When you get to the cashier, hand them the diapers to scan. I would recommend the use of cash or gift cards as payment, since they do not generate a paper trail. One of your biggest fears when purchasing diapers for the first time is that the cashier will ask why you are buying them. Don't dwell on this. Store employees are usually trained not to ask about your purchases, and if for some reason the cashier does ask you about your diapers, you should tell them that it is none of their business. Regardless of how the cashier thinks that it is, it is not illegal. Personally, I have bought adult diapers on numerous occasions, and have never been asked about my reasons for purchasing them. After you pay for the diapers, the cashier will bag them for you. When the diapers are bagged, you can leave the store. All you have to do now is bring your diapers home. When you are nearly home, look for signs of family members being present, such as cars parked in the driveway. If people are home, stash the diapers in a bush or other convenient spot. You should scout out such locations while planning, and then bring the diapers inside when everyone is asleep or out. Give yourself a big pat on the back for setting your fears aside and getting yourself some diapers.